Some neighbors startled out of their sleep by loud partying before ever hearing what they described as rapid gunfire. Others woke to the sounds of responding police sirens. I don't like it. Sham Kataruka says he specifically bought his Sunnyvale home 10 years ago because it's on a quiet street in the Rainer Park area. But this morning he woke up to find a murder scene down the street and learned two men were shot at a house party there and one of them died. It is shocking. And especially somebody got killed, it's really shivering. This morning he learned from neighbors it happened at a short-term rental home. And the party that Sunnyvale PD confirms included liquor and as many as 200 teenagers was advertised. They want you to do a party, they should go and rent a hall or do something. He's not alone in that assessment. One of his neighbors is also a city council member who has lived in the area a long time too and who takes pride in the low crime rates. No violent crime, and so this is a very different experience for this neighborhood. Obviously, I've been living here for a few years. Mason Fong says he wants it to remain that way here and in other Sunnyvale neighborhoods, and he wonders what the council can do to try to regulate short-term rental properties. From a city perspective, you know, I want to know what is legally possible for us to restrict and require from a safety perspective of vendors. Sunnyvale Public Safety says the second victim is recovering after undergoing surgery. They're also asking for witnesses to step forward. In Sunnyvale, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.